The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look at the German DAX. As you can see, we backed off a little bit, uh, stopped right at the 61% retracement. Very interesting pattern. But if you want to see a really, really nice ABCD, you don't have to go any farther, of course, than the beautiful pattern that we're seeing here in the FTSE. We'll get this up here. We This is uh, compliments of our friend Boris Little Man Trump Johnson, and he has got up to that 75-70 level. Beautiful ABCD. Now, folks, those two green triangles right there, That's some people have named that the cipher pattern. I don't know who exactly named it. It's actually a pretty good pattern, but you'll notice that we came down and made the 78% level down there at 71.40, but because the uh, level of D is lower than the level of B, that does not make that a Gartley or an ABCD or not. It makes the ABCD when you take the lower low, of course, but I believe they call that a cipher pattern. I don't see it too often, but uh, it's certainly a tradable pattern because you've got three numbers up there. You've got a beautiful ABCD pattern at one point, uh, you know, at the ABCD level. You've got a, uh, a CD expansion at 1.414, exactly at 75.70, and you got a 1.618 expansion at 75.70. So those are the three numbers that are there, so you don't have to risk very much to see if you're right or not. Uh, you know, that's the whole principle of what patterns really try to do is to limit the risk of, uh, you know, what you're what you're trying to see as you look at some of these patterns. And that's the, the real key. We've got a situation going right now. Uh, hold on one second here. Yesterday, if you'll remember, we put this uh, chart up to uh, to alert you to the fact that we were going to be getting up to that 1.618 expansion up there at 13.15, and we did get that. We've been as high as 13.16 and a half, I believe, so far today. So that's going to be a very interesting one to uh, to watch as we go through. But there's something <clears throat> in the wind here, folks. Let me uh, let me show you something that I think is very important. It's very unusual. So I think uh, we'll we'll chat about it here a bit since this is uh, the show that I have the mic on. This is about open interest. I know you hear me harp, harp, harp a lot when markets are making new highs or new lows about open interest because it's the number of players coming in. But I'd like for you to look at the top arrow there, the red arrow, where it says the NASDAQ 100 futures. You notice that the NASDAQ has been the leading, uh, the big daddy rabbit in this puppy on the way up. And of course, again, today we're almost at 8,900. But you notice we had a big drop in open interest, 31 or 3,400 contracts. That's not what's important, folks. Drop down to where the E, e mini S and P is. You see that E mini S and P futures, open interest of uh, you know 1.5. Look at look at the look at the increase in open interest, folks. One hundred and forty-one thousand four hundred and eighty-nine lucky campers were able to buy. There were also one hundred and forty-one thousand eight four hundred eighty-nine people going short, folks. That number is so big that I, I, I actually had to double check it because usually when it's 50, it makes me wake up. When I saw it at 141, I couldn't believe it. I don't know when we've seen one that that big. It's just uh, it's really, truly amazing to me. Uh, you know, it's just <laughs> it's uh, it, it just absolutely blew me away when I when I saw that the the, uh, the Dow Jones, the futures did uh, virtually nothing. They, they didn't even have any any change at all. But the Nasdaq dropped. Uh, the Russell, I uh, don't think we uh, don't think we did. Uh, yeah, the Russell moved very little, so none of that really made difference with that big increase in uh, that uh, number of the uh, in the S and P was uh, really really uh, very very uh, important. I don't know what it means yet, but we'll know in a day or two. But to see that big of open interest, uh, that, that you know what's so big about it, folks. Uh, when you get people buying in a new high or selling in a new high, that that is unusual in itself. Uh, but when you see that much 
uh, increase in open interest at that level, wow, that may, really means something. So we'll have to pay. We'll see who the winners are. The winners will be announced on Tuesday morning, I guess, or maybe today. I don't know. But uh, that's what we're watching as we as we go through and look at that. So I, I, it's just so phenomenal that it just absolutely, uh, you know, blew me away. Now. We also have a nice ABCD pattern coming in here from one of our friends here across the pond that trades the uh, Dow Jones. And you can see here that we're also completing an ABCD pattern from December 3rd's low. We went up, we pulled back to a 382 there on December 10th. And here we are on the 20th of December uh, trading at uh, 28,460, whatever it is. That's the ABCD level. So that's another one that is uh, lining up to see whether it's good. Now, the NASDAQ has gone through, uh, it's destroyed the ABCD, and it is destroyed. <laughs> it has also exceeded the 1.618 expansion. So, yeah, maybe it's due to all this open interest, but we'll be able to, uh, to see what's going to happen. Uh, there's rumors that the reason why that the market is so strong is that they're going to allow the Constitution to be changed so that President Trump can uh, do another third and possibly fourth term, but that's still in the works. We haven't heard uh, anything on the uh, absolute validity of those rumors yet, but we'll certainly be looking at it. Yes, the silver starting to move, and I think the gold starting to move. We've been watching those for quite some time. I think they've got a chance here. All we need for that gold to do, folks, is to get above that. Uh, 1492 to 1495 level and I think it has a really good chance you know to have a terrific move and that's what we're we're keeping our eyes on you know very very closely because if it can do that it's got a real chance we'll just put this chart up you can see here we're breaking above this trend line right now just get this uh, up here so we can see it we'll be looking at it Jay did you think I was kidding when I said that Really, Jay, shut the front door and raise the rent. What I joke to you, I tell you the stuff that's out there that's not much of a joke anymore. Let's take a look here at this uh, long-term chart in the gold. You can see that downtrend line, beautiful ABCD. We pull back to 1474. Now we're, we're powering ahead. And we need to get it above that uh, that 1492 level, and that would be a pretty uh, a pretty big move to uh, to the downside. So we'll see whether uh, to the upside. Sorry, but if it gets ready, we'll be able. To... No, 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 Jaybird, forget the boat ride, Bubba. The, any any boat ride I take with you, the Tom and his fleet of yachts will be uh, for. Uh, to go across the bay there. Well, he doesn't even have that anymore. I don't know if he has a, a dock at his new place in, say, Petersburg, but he certainly did over in, uh, uh, what was the name of that little town he lived in? Not Cleveland. Uh, what was the name of the town uh, where we used to be there? Uh, shucks, I can't remember where the, uh, where the name of that city was. Clearwater. I knew it started with a C. Thank you, David. Yeah, I, uh, Tommy, does uh, do you have a do you have a dock over there? I don't know if you do or not there in uh, St. Petersburg, but uh, I I just don't like boats, folks. I just never had any luck. So, dock right near there. You go. See, there you go. Just right for like. We'll take a break here. Eight seven seven eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile ah. Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to get the silver up here and take a look at it because it's certainly looking a lot different than we are looking at anything uh, in the gold market. You can see here that we've taken out the 78% level from uh, early December. And boy, we're not even, we're not within $9, $10 of that in the gold. And as silver goes up, gold goes down. So, uh, you know, gold is, silver looks pretty good. You know, we've been up 10 days in a row. So I certainly wouldn't be a buyer here, but uh, it looks like this possibility of making 1639 is going to be uh, highly suspect. That's the 61% retracement uh, on this. So uh, we'll have to uh, wait and see. Now, I someone's asked a question, is this related to the lighter volume and stuff that we have during this week? You know, I think somewhat. But when you see the volume that we had on the uh, on that increase in the open interest in the, the S and P yesterday, there's nothing there's nothing holiday about that, folks. That's that's one huge uh, one huge increase in open interest. I uh, the fact is I've act, I've asked uh, my friend. Uh, Miss Rich Anderson to give me his feedback on it. We've also had a question about having uh, Bill Meridian uh, on uh, from Cycles Research in Vienna, Austria. We're going to try to get Bill on as uh, near as we can, but of course he's on holiday also, as is Tom Hugard. But Tom is going to be on Monday morning. He said he would be available, and uh, also Norm Winsky would be on the second half of the show show on Monday. So we do have those lined up, but and, and I will have Stan Harley on uh, during the holiday season for sure. Probably next week, maybe we'll get we'll get Stan on uh, maybe the day after uh, Christmas because that's always uh, a pretty active day, and we'll be able to to see that. I remember the office in Cleveland uh, on Cleveland Boulevard in Clearwater was number six one eight when I first went to that office. So I guess about fifteen years ago, I was very impressed that the the office number was six one rate and that was by accident by the way so well at least i thought it was all right let's take a uh, take a look here uh what, what's going to be uh, looking at some of these other things and what we've got going on this morning uh another one that is uh, starting to uh, move down let's get this uh Let's get this uh, picture of the euro up because we just broke major support here in the euro just a few minutes ago. We're heading down towards that 61% retracement level. Oh, dear. Give me a second here. And uh, 
Oh yeah, the beautiful lobby that they had there. You're right, that was a beautiful building there. I I was always impressed, but the problem was the doggone thing wasn't very full. But it was a beautiful building, no question about it. Well, I've seen the new offices over in St. Petersburg, and they're beautiful too. So, yeah, okay. Uh, no, okay, let's move on here to a couple of questions here that people have asked me uh, about some of these things. Um, first of all, they've asked about Bitcoin, and I want to give you the two questions I'll answer at one time. What do I do during the day when the markets are you know, moving and I'm not watching them and what's going on? One of the things that I do is that I do continual research, and I work with John Jameson over in the UK uh, daily, and we watch a lot of different things. Just give you an example of what we were watching here. Here is the chart of Bitcoin. We're going to get this up here and uh, get to be able to see this. You'll see this is the, the daily chart chart of Bitcoin. Now, what you don't see here is you don't you don't see the lows from way back, you know, earlier uh, in the year of last year or this year, you know, back there around January, because the lows that we made over here, you notice we made a double bottom there at 6,400. That 6,400 was, believe it or not, on an algorithmic chart. In other words, look at the, al you know, the, uh, it was really at a 382 retracement, believe it or not, on an algo chart. And it was at about a 7.707 on the other. Now, what's interesting about that, and this is what I do, is when I'm working with somebody as smart as John, is I allow him to, well, I allow him, boy, that's a dummy thing, but I watch what, what he's doing. And here, let's just take a quick look here. You'll be able to see this because it's a, it's quite quite interesting here, the type of research. So we're doing this research and other things too, folks, to uh, hopefully to come out with an automatic trading system. But you'll notice these lines that you see that look like uh, bands or moving averages, they have nothing to do with that. Those are just uh, standard deviations from the mean is what they are. And as you notice, when you get to that red line down there, you're, when you touch that red line, you're at three standard deviations uh, from the mean. And so when you're trading at 6,400, uh, you want to be watching it uh, very, very closely. And if you look down, you can see uh, a volume, you know, the volume starting to pick up quite a bit. And that's what tips it off. Your 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 first stop to, place to go long is when you exceeded the the 6200 level. Okay, the second place was at 70, uh, 6900, and then the third time was about uh, 7300, and that's by you know using Tom Hugard's idea of adding to winners, and that's the type of thing that John is working on to see if these algos will uh, you know stand up over time. And so far, the the results on them look pretty good. Now we're only doing it on cryptocurrencies uh, because uh, you know they have a lot of volatility, and there's only 4950 <laughs> crypto currencies to look at. So that's just some of the things that we're, we're looking at. So we'll see see how some of these things are going. Uh, someone's asked a question of why do I think that the gold is lagging behind uh, silver? Boys and girls, trust me on this. I am absolutely the last person that anybody that will ever a answer a question about inside information or knowing why something happens. I never know those things. They never tell me. I don't expect them to tell me, but uh, that's it. I just look at the charts, you know, and, you know, like today, we went short the uh, S&P today at 1313 with a stop, uh, you know, quite a bit above 1320. Well, it used to be quite a bit above. I don't know where it's uh, trading now. Well, it's not too far away. Uh, we need to get it to 1332. But if you'll take a look uh, at the uh, uh, one of the, my favorite quotes is that uh, we have a uh, a situation where we're looking at uh, oh shucks where did I put that darn thing uh, it was a quote by Paul Tudor Jones in the Wall Street Journal in the Wall in the Wall Street Journal quoted him it says it must be wonderful to be Paul Tudor Jones to be able to pick the exact bottom in the Treasury bond market before it had one of its most explosive moves of the year. And Paul Tudor Jones stopped the reporter and says, wait a minute. He said, you should, you know, report this as it should be. And he says, what do you mean? He said, Paul Tudor Jones picked the exact bottom of the Treasury bond market for one of the most explosive moves of the year after being wrong six times in a row. So there's the answer right there. You nibble and take, you, you take your little pickaxe and look for that gold mine. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, and then you move on, you know, to the next one.
and that's really what you're what you're going to be watching. So keep a very very close eye on some of these things. We're going to be interesting. Let me show you why we're up here. Um, oh dear, let's just a minute. See, we had oh big big drop in open interest in that Nasdaq yesterday with the uh, market exploding to the upside. I can understand that. But what I can understand is the big increase that we had in the S&P 500. Uh, that, I know that's the bigger one, you know, because the NASDAQ is much smaller. But that that's really surprising. There must be something really big, you know, coming out of these markets to, that would think it would be uh, pretty good. Now, uh, let me just show you the uh, NAT. Hold on one second. We've got a question here coming in. Yeah, well, there's too many shorts. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let, let, let me explain something to everybody. There, there, there's got to be equal number of shorts as there equal number of longs. You can't have you can't have an oversupply. <laughs> That's one thing I'm 100 percent sure of. So we'll, we'll watch that very, very closely. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh. 
Okay, folks, the S&P came within a point of what we were looking at is 32.25. We got to 32.24. We Wow, we've had a big drop here, 20 points here in the NASDAQ in the last few minutes when the market opened. Uh, we have, oh, we're having happy times in the market, I see. So that'll be interesting to uh, take a look at. Okay, now uh, someone's asked a question is, why do the A, B, C, D patterns work sometime and sometimes they don't? Hmm. The answer to that is, folks, have no idea. All I know is that they work more than they fail, and that's the uh, you know that's the edge that you're you're trying to look at when you're you know watching you know some of these patterns. So that's all I can tell you, and uh, we'll see you know what happens with them, and we'll have to uh, move on to uh, the next level. Uh, I believe that we did get down to the 61% retracement in the euro. Let me double check that, uh, and I'll give you a quick uh, quick. Uh, lay of the land here. No, no, we didn't. We just made the ABCD, folks, down there at that uh, 108.50 level in the euro. So there should be some pretty strong support there, uh, right where we are right now in the euro between 108.50 and uh, 108.30. And the low so far this morning has been uh, 108.09. So that's down. That's down quite a bit. That hit, whoo, that hit it exactly. 108.10 was the number. We got to 108.09. So that might be a very interesting one to uh, take a look at. We'll see whether it means anything or not, but that's very interesting. I posted that chart, so I hope you folks take a look at it because uh, here again, you know, sometimes the ABCDs work perfectly. Usually it's, that's about 40% of the time that it does that. But the other part of the time, it expands and contracts. And what you're trying to do is to find multiple patterns that line up to give you the best possible risk-reward ratio of what you're looking at. As far as picking tops and bottoms, you know, if Tudor Jones can try it, you can too. The problem is it might take you several times to get it right. So you've got to keep your 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 uh, losses as, slow, as low as possible in order to uh, determine whether you're going to uh, make it uh, work or not. But uh, that's what we're watching here this morning. I'm just, uh, in fact, is that someone's asked a question, why am I being so emphatic about the uh, open interest? As folks, I haven't seen anything like that happen before. That's that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm talking about it. I really am. So, okay, they're still showing the Bitcoin chart. Well, something's wrong here. Let's get up here to uh, to show this uh, euro euro chart. Give me one second here, and we'll get it up here for you. And uh, we'll be taking a look at it right here. Uh oh, no, we won't. We got to change the change the camera just to tie. It. There we go. Hold on a second. The old cowboy can't walk and chew gum at the same time. All righty. So let's move on here, and then we're ready to move on to the next one now. Okay. Uh, well, did we get there? We almost got to 25. We got to 24 and a quarter. 24.75. Where is that 32.25 level? Come on, 32.25. You can do it. Um all right, the gold's selling off now. I mean, here we, you know, we got up to 85, almost 85. We backed off a couple of bucks as silver was going higher. That's why when you trade these things, folks, you got to trade the ones that are, you know, uh, landing the best way. So that's the the real key uh, to looking at it. And that's what I'm watching so far this morning. Someone's asked a question about the. Uh, the uh, the futures markets. I'm really not doing a lot in the futures markets. I'm basically you know watching the foreign exchange markets. We just had a you know really big monster win in the uh, natural gas. I can certainly do that one, uh, Bob, because I am watching natural gas very very closely. I think I posted the chart for you guys to look at today. <sighs> you know what? I don't think I did, but <clears throat> let me. Uh, let me do the coffee one first because someone's asked a question. And Bob, I'll do the I'll do the natural gas uh, for you here in just a second here, and we'll move over here. You'll see that um, we had that top up there at that 142 level. That ABCD pattern. There's a perfect example, folks, of the ABCD. If you just looked at the simple ABCD, uh, it would take you up to around uh, 130, uh, it's probably about 128, 128 to 129. Look how it goes all the way up to 142. When I when I do that, I extend the CD leg by 1.618 just to see if it gets close to the number. 
Okay, so that number took us up to 140. Well, not only do I expend expend it in extend it by um, by the time situation, I wanted by the price. I also want to look at the by the time. So all I do is I go down to the load that was made there on the 17th of October. I count the number of days up until the high that was made around 112. Then it backs off a beautiful tiny little ABCD. It doesn't even make a 382. It makes a 0.336, but it's a little ABCD pattern. No question about that. Explosive move out of there. That's telling you it wants to go higher. And then I count the days to see how many days it should go up. And the last time you did that, you ran up a what, 17 days, and you had 17 days to that. It should have topped uh, right around the uh, 10th of uh, December, and it continued to go higher uh, into the, uh, the 13th or 14th. So that you know, that's going to get you about as close as you can. And now on, you know, on the downside, what you want to be watching is watch, for, because this market is really bullish, Watch for a 382 retracement here, which bring you into 122. That's a $20, $20 per, per pound drop in coffee, uh, which is a pretty substantial drop. So, you, you know, it's going to be the biggest drop you've had in a while. So that's going to be your key support there at the 122 level. So that's the main thing. All right. Now let's get over and take a look at the old natural gas for Bob. This will only take a second here, I believe. Well, just give me one second, and we'll be able to watch it real closely here. All righty. Uh, well, since we're doing this, we might as well have a little fun here. This is – we'll put, before we start talking about natural gas, I'll just put up the, uh, the AI guess for today, and then we'll move over to the daily chart here in natural gas. And you'll see that uh, we've had a major bottom down here. Just get it up here. We'll be able to take a quick look at it, and you'll be able to see here that uh, – We've uh, we close. We were down yesterday. We were down at that 61% retracement at the 224, and then we rallied up today to the 235. Uh, I think it was uh, 234.40, and uh, with a real strong move here. So I would be looking for a pullback here uh, if you get a pullback in the natural gas, because I, I think that low that we made yesterday, being 61% retracement, should be spot on. Because, uh, you know, we had that big ABCD from August uh, through November, absolutely perfectly. There, there's where the ABCD was perfect. And if you did the time sequence from August through September and October through November, you'll see that those times were very, very closely. But I'll allow you to do uh, uh, human nature and decide whether you want to do it yourself or not. But uh, that's really what you're watching as you look at some of these things unfold here. I hope that helps, Bob. Now, this morning, if you're looking at the, if, if you're just watching for, you know, something really important with with the natural gas, watch for watch for support to come in at the 382, which would be at 232.20. As long as we can stay above 232.20. Okay, that would be what we think would be pretty strong support because that's a 382 of the last bottom that we found there. I hope that uh, is uh, looking at that. Now, someone's got a question here about Apple. Okay, it says Apple has about 30% short interest. Uh, okay. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. All right, folks, we're back, and uh, we want to be watching uh, crude oil, folks, because uh, we've been up around this 3100 excuse me, $61 a barrel level several times now. We backed off about 50 cents from early this morning, so we'll keep a uh, keep an eye on that because I think we're getting ready to roll over in the, uh, in the crude oil market. Uh, very important, it says CB low. Take a look at the Kansas City uh, charter for... This is about coffee, I believe. Uh, it's a high risk, exactly. Oh, Mr. Z is saying that the uh, coffee chart uh, that he posted shows at 142.40. The high this week was an exact test of the Fibonacci 618 resistance versus the top in 2016. Another example of how Fibonacci numbers come into play. Contact me for further information. I'm just joking about that part, John. But thank you so much for the uh, heads up on that. As you know, <laughs> I don't trade coffee very much. In fact, never in the last uh, 40 years. And I think I've said this several times, but since it's a Christmas season, I'll tell you why. This was during the big heyday of the markets during 1973 and 74, and I was long coffee, cocoa, and cotton. And uh, what happened was I, the markets were limit up, and I was taking profits. And so I put my order in to sell the coffee, the cocoa, and the cotton limit up. And believe it or not, I had picked the absolute second of the high being made. Instead of being filled limit up, I was filled limit down. I still made a nice profit on the trade, but after I felt that I was being, you know, hijacked for that money, I decided not to. Uh, not to trade that anymore, and I never did for four years, and I still haven't. Uh, you know, I've, I've given some ideas on cocoa and stuff, but as personally, I have never done coffee, cocoa. I've traded sugar a few times, but that didn't happen to me in sugar, but coffee, cocoa, and cotton. And frankly, folks, it was just, it was an accident. I mean, it was the actual, it wasn't an accident. It was exactly what the market was doing. I had no reason to be upset. In fact, I can remember uh, Roy Fassel telling me, you know, the, the floor broker was screaming on the squawk box, do you want, because I was, I was livid, and because uh, I had like, 
10 contracts on each one, and we're talking 50 grand. And he said, uh, do you want the fills or not? And Roy, Roy was yelling at me saying, yes, 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 yes. And so I said, okay, even though I wanted to argue about it, well, they didn't trade for several more days to the downside. So it saved me, uh, you know, a lot of money. I still made money, but, you know, I felt that I'd been ripped off. In fact, I wasn't. You don't have that problem anymore, folks, because you're all like floor traders. You've got these, you know, little uh, machines here that tell you exactly what your equity is within a second. And within one penny, so you know exactly where you are. You can see your, you know, the uh, sometimes and you know really uh, what you call it, uh, real active markets. You can see the 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 gaps that you have between bid and ask. But that's pretty much it. You know, the squawk box is nothing more. Uh, what is this? Oh my gosh, David! I thought you knew what a squawk box was. A squawk box is a little a little uh, a recording, not a recording, but a little speaker that sat on the the uh, offices in in Takanti. There were like four of them, one in each corner, and every morning they would come on, and in the grains, it was Ivan Hour, and uh, oh, I can't remember all the guys, but they would give their ideas of what the, the markets were going to be, and who was buying, who was selling, what the supply demand was, and that's why the CNBC you know, they still call it Squawk Box, and I don't even think Squawk Boxes exist anymore. Uh, I don't know if they do or not, but uh, that, that's what it was. It was basically coming right from the floor of the Chicago Board Exchange, uh, Chicago Board of Trade, or the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. You could hear the, the noise and the stuff in the background, and that's uh, really what it was. I figured you knew, David, but it's, uh, you know, <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, pretty much uh, that's pretty much what it is. And they still, uh, when when they started CNBC, which was started by Sue Herrera, along with Bill Griffith, uh, the first guy to start it was uh, Mark. Uh, what was Mark's name? You know, the really nice guy that died of a heart attack when they told him he was going to be uh, removed. Mark Haynes. Mark Haynes. Yes, Mark Haynes. Uh, Mark Haynes, when he uh, they told him he was going to be demoted down to a reporter, they uh, he died the next day of a heart attack. I think it was a broken heart because he was a still uh, he was a, the the real I think the real uh, anchor of that. And then, of course, Joe Kernan took his place. But that's neither here. That's just life, folks. Things go on. Things move around. You know, 20 years from now, they're going to have to ask themselves, who was president, who was the 45th president of the United States? They'll probably say that. And you know what? 20 years from now, it might be the same guy. No, I'm just joking. I better stop joking. Otherwise, they'll be taking me off the air, and I wouldn't know what to do for this hour of the morning by them taking me off the air. All right. The next question that I had was about the British pound, I believe. Let's take a quick look at this. Ah, no, it was about the TBT. Folks, I really think that we are going to have a situation where we're going to be looking at higher interest rates down the road. You can see here that we made that big 1.618 expansion there on the weekly chart, and I believe we're heading higher in the uh, Treasury uh, TBT, which is the ETF for short Treasury bonds. And the bonds still look weak. They just keep getting weaker and weaker, and they don't look very good at all. Remember yesterday? Oh, I got something really cool to show you. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to show you anyway. Get this up here. You'll see here, this is the... Uh, the bond, the bund, the German bund at 382 rally on the weekly and or daily and headed lower. But let me show you this, folks. This is a really interesting thing. This is a picture uh, that I just see. This is of the future. Okay, I'm not going to tell you when this was. If you can guess the year, uh, you'll get a big prize. But here is a picture of what the future was supposed to bring. In other words, the mind, you can see the cell phone on the side and all the other stuff that's going on. Uh, do you know when that when that thing was? Uh, that's an art object, actually. But when the guy conceived it, it was uh, you know someone like H. G. Wells and uh, some of the others guys that are out there. Uh, that was done in 1919, folks. And the whole theory of it was that the mind, the body, was going to be taken over bionics, and it was be uh, you know be able to be in fact we're heading that way right now the way it goes so we'll see. Well, I've, I've stalled as long as I can to the break, but <laughs> we'll see. Any questions, folks? Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'll be happy to to answer any questions. Let's see if our S and P got to that uh, twenty five. No, we got to uh, thirty two. 
Oh, we got to 32, 24, 75. Very strange. What's interesting is, is that we've had a 30-point break in the NASDAQ, which is uh, which is uh, quite unusual. So we'll, we'll see whether that is uh, going to mean very much or not. We'll have to uh, do one thing at a time to see if that is going to be the case. Okay, let's move on here to see if we have anything else uh, moving in here. And then that's about it, I believe. Uh, let me see. Uh, the gold still, we'll see the gold's backed off another couple of bucks, folks. It's not moving with the uh, with the uh, silver, so that's not a good sign. So maybe silver just touched that uh, 786 level and then backed off a little bit, but we'll, we'll need to, uh, to wait and see. All righty. Okay, we got it next. Uh, 877-927-6648. I've run out of material that I was going to cover today, so when we get back, I'll run through, uh, you know, a couple of long-term charts just to see where we are, um, and we'll go from there. Someday this market will turn down. Probably not in my lifetime, but uh, we'll be able to see, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, 
someone uh, we were talking about the NASDAQ had a high of, uh, March NASDAQ had a high of uh, 87.24. It backed off 30 handles to 86.94. Uh, uh, folks, it's all related to that uh, open interest stuff that's going on over there. I mean, to see an open interest increase in the S&P of 144,000 contracts is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, you're, you're, not only that, what's un unbelievable is on the long, I mean, that means for every long there's a short. So some people with some really big conviction came in and decided to play. Oh, that's that's what that's what it means to me. But uh, you got to ask yourself, uh, boy, oh boy, that takes a lot of open interest. Uh, boy, that that just really shocks me. And I, I'm not shocked very often, but uh, that certainly does. Uh, regarding the gold, as long as you know the gold is trading what uh, 1482, it takes a heartbeat to get it above 1490. If we get it above 1490, it's going to look pretty good. And if it doesn't get above 1490, we're kind of back down. The ideal situation is have one more break in gold and silver. Silver doesn't look like it wants to break, and you know platinum's held up relatively well too. But if it can get down there around that uh, 1410, that's down about 70 bucks where we are right now, which is quite a bit. But if we got there, that would be a 61% retracement on the long-term low from way back at, uh, you know, uh, 14 uh, at uh, 1325, uh, I believe. So if it got there, that would really be good. But right now, it's just in this really tight trading range. We 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 saw that we saw the importance of the 1463, 64. That was a 78% 135 pattern perfectly and uh that's what's going on john's saying that uh, there is a he was shocked to find out that gambling what we do here folks is intelligent risk speculation there's a big difference between gambling and, and investing in stocks you can give in gambling you have to give up an edge and whereas as stocks you 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 create your edge and that's the main thing to uh, to look at as you as you go through looking at some of these so we're winding up the week here i want everybody to have a wonderful holiday we'll be back Monday with our two guests, Tom Hugard and Norman Winsky.